Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. We start here with Chapstick. This is the crazy troll nation of YouTube. And they're crazy because we just do what we want to do and we have fun on this channel. We have fun on this troll train. The troll because there is no such thing. The troll just as a way of saying, regardless of what the beauty community says we should use, what brand, what tool, how we should apply our makeup. We're just like, we're going to wear what we want to wear, how we want to wear it, with the tools we want to use. And we're going to rock it with confidence because we know we look good. That, in a nutshell, is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. I do curse on my channel sometimes. Yes, I'm still getting used to saying that. This is what else you'll see here on this channel. I just did this base face because I'm having like a blah moment and I said, you know what, I'll just plan face paint. Not sure what I was going to do, so I did a base face, which was kind of long and drawn out, I think. But I did say in that video, this is just me just trying to do something productive. What this video is about, how I pair my highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. And there's some that I really enjoy using. And then there's some that I like using and it depends on my mood. So I'm going to show you again what I have. I got too much stuff sitting out and then I'll tell you how I pair them. We have, let me not do that one first because that's, none of them are more important than the other ones, but I'm just going off of older ones, which are not really that old. Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette. This one I actually use on its own. Because what I usually do, usually, I'll use this, I'll use this as a blush, this as a contour, like right here only, and I'll use this as a highlight. Or, I'll use this as a blush, this as a contour, this as a highlight. And you can do any combination you want to, but for me, these two, this one and this one work best as highlighters. And the shades are true to pan. <laughs> And so this I use on its own. I don't mix it with any other blushes or any other bronzers. And you can layer these if you wanted to. But how I use them is how I just explained how I use this palette. And I really do like it. What I did today, which I love, the LYS Confident. And this was my first time putting the NARS Blissful over top of it. And I was considering getting rid of the NARS blush because I'm like, when have I last used it? If I didn't have it, would I miss it? The answer was no. But then when I thought the to top it today, because this had not fully dried down and I was going to put the bronzer on, I said, well, let me just slap something on top of it. And I really like it. So I will be pairing the OIS Confident, putting NARS Blissful on top of that. And for bronzer and highlight, I will be using the Cover Effects if I keep it. I'm really on the fence because I don't enjoy using it. I do not enjoy using it. And the only place I like how the bronzer looks is across my forehead. Like the rest, I, so I don't know. But for now, that's the pair I did today. I do like it even though you don't really see the bronzer. My other, a pairing that I love. 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 Blush. Oh, that long titles, this woman. Skin Fetish Divine Blush in Desert Orchid. This gives me the perfect flush of color. Is she wearing blush? She ain't wearing blush, is she? No, she's not. Maybe. That's what this does. It's just like, is it blush? This gives me the perfect flush. Perfect. Perfect. And I love pairing that with the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and Bronze. And how I use this. And I do have a video using both of those together somewhere on my channel. <laughs> and so I just take a brush up, down, up, down. Highlight, up, down, up, down. Highlight, beautiful, perfect. So that's my favorite pairing for that. My foundation references will be listed below if you are around my complexion and you want to try any of these. Um, for bronzers, for that pairing, what I would maybe possibly do <laughs> is makeup by mario soft sculpt bronzer and deep 
and I did a video, I forget what I paired it with, and we did one side with the deep and one side with the dark. And a few commented they like the deep better, which I do too. And some said they like the dark better. This is deep, this is dark. So if I'm just using a blush and a highlight duo, I would use one of these as bronzers. And so this is, again, what those look like. Again, this is deep, which I actually like better than dark. I think because of the color that this adds to my skin, where this kind of blends in is there. Yeah, but I do like these. And so that's what I would pair with that. This is another blush highlight, Colored Rain Peachy Royalty. And so this is the blush, this is the highlight. I do really like this on my skin tone, and I wasn't sure. And this will lead me into a discussion about why I stopped using highlighters way back. But now I'm into them again. Because <laughs> I had to figure out what was going on. But this is a really nice look on me and again because it is just a blush and just a highlight and no i don't always use bronzer or contour but i'm like if i'm going to do it i'm going to do it you know what i'm saying so if i were to use this i would again use one of the makeup by mario bronzers i would just pick one and just use it i have two single cream blushes these are both by <laughs> hi mimi this one is called Butterfly. Both of these are by Colored Rain. These are not, they are intense, but they do sheer out. So you need to go in with a really light hand. And I don't know why this has that line in it like that. It had to be me because I live alone and I'm a partner. So I don't, I don't even know how that happened. But both of these, and I'm wondering if I sheared this out, if it would look like this. I'm going to do an experiment one day to see. Because if this shears out and looks like this, I don't need these. And y'all know I don't like clutter. And I don't like to have duplicates in my collection. But I do really like... I, I like what's going on. And what it may come down to is if I feel like using creams that day or powders that day. But then this is a cream and the LYS is a cream. But if this shears out and looks like this, that's this will be one product instead of two. You see what I'm saying? But that's another video. So this I have used on its own. Really liked how it looked. This, oh, 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 let me show you. Let me, where's she at? Where is she at? My little sis told me about this and I tried it. And every time I wear spicy, sorry for not saying what the name of this one was earlier, this color, put that on as a blush. Go into your Berlin Underground palette. Poor but sexy. Use that right here as a blush light. Y'all, listen. It is beautiful. I know it looks weird like this, but this does sheer out. But this as a blush and this as a blush light, whew, beautiful. So every time I wear this, I'm in this palette to put poor but sexy one as a blush light. So if you haven't tried it and you have an orange blush and you have um, Berlin Underground, try it you just try it but for either one of these because they are just blushes i will go in with one of the makeup by mario <laughs> bronzers to put on which still leaves me without a highlight and that is fine i only have one single highlighter set thank you smiley shani she gifted this to me the nessa myricks mini light work volume number three and this is what that looks like they all look the same in the pan, but trust me, when you put them on, excuse me, so rude, they do not look the same when you put them on. And I need to be strategic, though, with what blush I have on. because Each one is a distinctly different color. And this is Golden Eclipse, which is like a golden -y shade, which does look nice on me. Strawberry Moon, which is kind of pinky, looks nice on me. Spring Equinox. This is like a dual chrome. Well, they're all dual chrome, multi chrome, but it's like a lime greeny type thing. So that one, I can't just put that on with anything. This one, Blue Moon, when I swatched it on my bare skin, it looked lavender and ashy. But when I used it as a highlighter over makeup and all of that, it was like a nice 
iridescent bluish shade and it was really pretty and so any of my single blushes I can pair with one of these depending on what color look I'm going for I do prefer a subtle highlight I don't want to be seen from space I just don't <laughs> and I see the look on other people and I love it but for me and I think because I like a dark eye and a dark lip I think I want all of this area just to be kind of toned down like yes colorful like this but not like BAM because my eyes are BAM and my lips are BAM 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 you see what I'm saying so yeah so any of these I compare with my single blushes this is an easy one too. Scott Barnes Cheek Chic number one. And you open it up. This has six blushes. These are two transformer shades slash highlighter shades. I have used these just as highlighters. And I have used them topping one of these shades and it does transform the shade. And it's just like, wow, like that's a whole new blush shade. So I really enjoy this palette. I have used every shade in here. One of them makes me look a little dusty and I'm trying to figure out which one it is. I think, I don't even know. I want to say this one, which is Strike a Rose, but I'm not really sure. But one of them does make me look just a tiny bit dusty and then I'll just layer something else over top of it. And even though this one is like yellow blush, this is one of the most popular ones and they do sell it as a single. But I love using this palette and I see what he did here. For these three blushes, top it with this one or use this as a highlighter for it. For these three blushes, and yes, I knew I was gonna touch something, top it with this one or use this as a highlighter. So he put them in rows for you to make it easy for you, but of course you can mix and match and do whatever you wanna do with your blushes and the two highlighters. And so if I use this palette for blush and highlight, and actually contour I will just use this by itself this one here is the shade and this is crushing blush this one I use as a contour I'll put just a little bit here and a little bit there very lightly because this is a deep shade on me this goes dark really really quick and so if I am using this for blushes and highlights I will use this one as a contour this one is not a standalone the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush, long ass title. I'm going to read what it says on the back. Natasha Denona Diamond Blush Face Highlighting and Contour Palette, 02 Citrus. Okay, first of all, she lied. There is nothing you can contour with in this palette. There is no contour shade in this palette. This is a flat thing to help protect the creams from the powders. This is a cream glow thing. This is a cream blush. This is a dual chrome powder highlight, powder glow thing, powder brush, no it's not, powder blush, another powder highlight sparkle, which I'm going to dig it. The only thing that disappoints me with this is that on me, this one and this one looks the same. It does look like this would be more shiny, more sparkly. Neither one of these have color. They're just sparkle and shine. This does look like it would be more sparkle and shine than this one, but on my skin tone, they look exactly the same. If one of these was a bronzer, since she says this is a highlight face contour palette, what does it say? Face highlighting and contour palette. If one of these was a contour shade, then it would be a contour palette, but you can't contour with anything in here. But I really do enjoy this. Purchased it half off, which, which was amazing. This right here, the highlight, is freaking awesome. So when I use this palette, I do use one of the Makeup by Mario bronzers because there's no bronzer in, in here. And so I kind of felt some kind of way because, okay, all of this shine and glitz and blush, all of that, and then you got to go somewhere else to get your bronzer. So I was just like, why couldn't either this one or this one be a bronzer? But anyway. Because of the way it is, I do think it's more universal depending on your skin tone, which makes it not universal. <laughs> we know everything doesn't work for everybody. So I'm not mad about it. I'm not upset about it. And for half off, I do recommend it. And I do want to say it's still half off on her website, which is $44.50. Full price was like 98 bucks. And I'm like, bitch, I did tell y'all a curse, right? I think I did. 
So that one I do pair with one of the Makeup by Mario. Prior to that, I was going into the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. And I was using this bronzer. And I felt some kind of way about that too. Because this has all these glow things in here. This is a cream. This is a powder highlight. Then you have like an extra highlight. And then you have the contour blush thing. So I was using the diamond one. And then using this, which I felt like I was wasting these three. I have used this on its own, and I really do like it. So this, for me, can be a blush highlight palette. And I can also go lightly as a blush, go heavier as a contour, and still have my highlight. So I can use this on its own, which is great. The most recent one that I purchased, I think this is my last one. Did I say my most recent one I purchased? Actually, it was. No, no, it wasn't because then I got the LYS and the cover fix one. <sighs> Natasha Denona, and I'm just like, girl, get it together, troll, please. Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. She's all about the glows, y'all. This right here, both of these are creams. Cream blush. This is a cream base for your highlight. And you can use this as a blush or highlight or use this as an extra glow for like this area up here. I have used this on its own. This is deep. This is like really, really deep. So this for me is strictly blush and highlight, which means going somewhere else for bronzer, which I could go and use the bronzer from in here. But I don't want to have to do that because I want to use it up equally. And so what I will do is, is use one of the Makeup by Mario <laughs> bronzers with this palette and so that's what i've been doing with my bronzers and highlighters and blushes how i've been pairing them together how i've been mixing and matching the different palettes what i think works best for me for what i like and for what my aesthetic is and the one thing i neglected to show you was my mac highlighter step right up alchemy hyper real glow duo this I purchased during the holiday season when I was trying to dupe out the highlighter in the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. And I really do like this. You put your brush in it and swirl it around, pop it on up here, and it is really, really nice. And so I can use this with anything. I just need to remember that it's here. Because I was thinking, even though I don't have a lot of makeup, which means I don't have a lot of highlighters, bronzers, and blushes... I have enough to where I just showed you everything I mix and match and I forgot about this one even though it was sitting right here next to me. You know what I mean? And I don't want to forget stuff. I do want to use my stuff. And so, yeah. But because this is a really good highlighter shade for me, I can wear this with any blush. And what I was going to say earlier was the reasons, the reasons, it was only one, two. The reasons I stopped wearing highlighters back in the day was the accentuated texture on my face that I didn't know I had. Like even sitting here, like you see some texture, but is it any more than usual or any more than, you know, the next person? Um, but there, the highlighters I was trying, it was just making me look like Rocky Mountain. And I'm just like, ugh. And also the colors were not suitable for my skin tone i would either look dark or it would look ashy and so people are like oh this highlight color is so pretty blah blah i put it on and i'm like oh i look ashy it would make me look grayish in tone or it would look muddy or if it was like a bright silver that made me look ashy and like different tones of highlighters so i just gave up i'm like okay to have this strip of ash and it highlight my texture. I was just like, no. And so I gave up using highlighters. But when I had the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette, that highlighter in there, I was like, oh my gosh. Like it didn't really accentuate my texture. I thought I had something right here. I think that might be a droplet from the spray or sweat. I'm sorry, I'll be distracting my damn self. I fell in love with highlighters with that one. I'm like, oh my gosh, like the color is perfect. It didn't accentuate my texture. And I'm like, that's what it was. I needed a highlighter with a certain tone, not golden. I'm not going to say not golden because, yeah, golden because my undertone is golden. 
but not that brassy gold or that bright gold and definitely not silver. And with different colors of highlighters, such as this one, the Vanessa Myricks one, I do still have to be careful with this one because this blue moon, depending on what I put it over or where I put it, it may still look a little ashy on me. And so I have to be careful with that. But for the most part, I have used every highlighter in here and I did like them. So I realized though for me, I need more of this tone and I'm going to swatch it to show you. So if you're having problems with highlighters or the tones of highlighters, and I know some people, they just wear any highlighters. It doesn't matter. They just want the shine. They want the glow. But for me, I want it to look like a glow from within. I don't want it to look like I packed on a bunch of you know fairy dust on my face. And so I'm going to swatch this one. I'm swirling my finger around, which is what I do with a brush. <laughs> Excuse me, so rude. And this is what that looks like. Tell me that's not perfect for my complexion. And so it, bl it just blends in. And when I turn, it just blends in. You see what I mean? But then you still have that glow. That to me is what I was wanting from a highlighter, not knowing that that's what I was wanting from a highlighter. And so I'm going to show you also, where is it? Oh, under something else. <laughs> the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in bronze. And this surprised me. This is an exact dupe for the highlighter in the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette because I went to Sephora, I swatched the one in the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette, and then I went around the store swatching other highlighters. This one was an exact dupe which is weird because of how it looks. And so I'll put my brush in it, go up, down, up, down, and then put it on my face. Look at that. This is that. Look at that. But these two colors, for me, perfect for my skin tone. And so when I found this one, after using the one of the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette, excuse me, I was like, oh my gosh, I like powders again. Powders. I like highlighters again. It was just finding the right kind of tone. And so while I'm swatching, this is the peach one from Colored Rain. And then I am going to go after this one. This one is a little chunky. I mean, it's smooth. But looking at it, I need to stop swatching it because that looks like it might get hard to end. You see it's shining already. Even though highlighters are shiny, but still, you know what I mean. So this one... We're going to put over here. So this is this one. And when I use this one, instead of putting highlight up here, which is where I would put one of these two because they more or less blend in with my skin tone. It just gives me shine. This one I'll put lower, like as a blush light, meaning on the top edge of my blush. That's where I would put this tone. And that's where I put the Danessa Myricks one on the top. I guess the top third, because my blush is here, right? And so I'll put the highlight right here versus these two I will take up here, like on my bone. And so that's how I've learned to use highlighters and also what tones look good on my skin tone and also hoping they don't accentuate my texture. But the ones I have are pretty smooth. I will say, I will say, Natasha's smooth highlighter in here smooth highlighter in here smooth and I'm like why did I wait so long because her shit's expensive and I get her shit's on sale but anyway that's going to be it for this video thank you for being here let me know if you use highlighters if you don't um are there certain tones that you like my perfect tones, I think for me, are the first two that I showed you, which are kind of golden-y, but not brassy golden and not champagne golden. Because champagne golden, some of, sometimes it seems to have like a silver base to it or something like that. And then it makes me look a little ashy. So it's really particular, the shade that I like. But those two, those, those are the ones I'm like, okay, yeah, we can do this. I forgot to show you, and I'm sorry, I know I keep saying I'm going to go and I don't. <laughs> Two single blushes that were sitting here that I completely forgot. These are from iMethod Beauty. This one is 01 First Love. I do like this 
how this looks on me. It looks weird. This is not how it looks on the cheeks. This gives me a natural flush of color. I do have a video using this one. Both of these were given to me at different times from iMethod Beauty. This one is 02 Hot Cherry. This one looked nice on me as well, but it's misleading because how it looks here is not how it looks on the face. And I do have videos using this. I do have a code below. If you use the code, you will receive 15% off from their Amazon store. If you have anything else in your Amazon cart, the code will not work. So your order needs to just be I met the beauty stuff and the code will work for 15% off and that code is down below and I do receive a, a little kickback if you do use it and it doesn't cost you anything more to use the code but you will save 15%. So that is it for my blushes, bronzers, highlighters, how I pair them, what I do. Thank you for being here. Let me know your perfect highlight, blush, and bronzer setup. <laughs> your favorite pairings, I'll put it that way, and or what is your favorite tone of highlighter for you, because that was really critical for me. And I'm like, why do none of these look right? It was because the tones weren't right for my, my complexion, and not only that, but also my undertone. So, I'm seriously gonna go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you're still here, go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up. Leave comments, I'll do reply back, and you will see me in the next video.